Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I was just filming for 20 whole minutes and I did not realize that my mic was off. So we're starting the video a little bit differently than I originally intended because I was doing an unboxing of a single shadow order that I had made for Kristen Lee Cosmetics and I, was, I wasn't, my mic was off so it's fine. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you really quickly. She actually surprised me because I purchased the Mean Green or the Green Mean or something bundle. I don't even know what it was exactly of eyeshadows. And I believe that there's 12 in total. I have 10 of them here because I already went ahead and swatched two, which we'll re-swatch and do together. So that's going to be the main focus of this video. I also picked up one of the Glimmer Gels in the shade Anticipation, which is super, super beautiful. Um, it has like... A really rich warm tone with like a gold base and then a green or greeny blue reflect just totally my vibes and I kind of purchased this on a whim because I was a little bit scared about the formula and just I don't know how to feel about a glimmer gel formula and how much I'm gonna like it or use it or reach for it so I purchased one just to give it a chance I'll actually let me just I can swatch it for you guys again <laughs> Oh man, okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit. It's just, I mean, it's a gel formula. It's very interesting. And there is what it looks like. So that's just like a subtle swatch, but I don't know if you can see the like shifts as it moves. Super, super beautiful. So I can't wait to test that out. I really love the shift, I love the color, and I'm just curious to see how I'll end up liking it. But the reason I said she surprised me is because she included a really sweet handwritten note and the entire line of Glimmer Gels. So I was a little bit overwhelmed when I first opened this and they were all packaged really, really well. That's honestly what majority of the time of me filming and not having my mic on was. They were all individually wrapped in bubble wrap and just super nicely done nothing came damaged so I'm so so grateful and I was gonna ask y'all if you would like to see a full video on the glimmer gels once I've tested them out because I'm gonna test this one the one I bought out first and see how I feel about it and make sure that I like it before I swatch and use all these other shades because there's so many actually maybe I'll pick out one of the light iridescent shades to test out too because that's probably gonna be a different kind of feel for the inner corner and if I like them, I'll do a full video because I just, I don't want to put my grubby little hands in shades that I won't end up using. So if I love them, I'll do a video. And if not, I'll just do an update in like a reviewing recent impressions video or something like that. So let's just go ahead and jump on in to the green bundle. So I'm going to re-swatch these two shades. So first we have, here I'll pull it out so you guys can see a little bit closer. So first we have the shade Bitter. This is just a really beautiful neon metallic green so for this video i'm gonna go ahead and do swatches of all these shades and just kind of talk about it for a little bit and then i thought i would go ahead and do a look i think that they're all shimmers if i remember correctly so i might end up pulling in another palette but here is bitter super super pretty and then we have the shade triumph this one has a little bit more of a deeper base to it but it's really sparkly it also feels a touch more powdery, but not in like a bad way. It's just not the creamiest shadow ever, but it does have good pigmentation. And it looks really stunning. Like I think that shade wet would be amazing. Also, the packaging that these come in is really, really nice. Because it's just like the tiny little containers. But it also has a magnet on the bottom, which I think is what Cleona does as well. I super appreciate that because... It really just holds the shadows in place. You can see there's the little magnet. So this next shade here is called Fathom. That's super pretty. All right, next we have a super deep emerald green, which looks so, so pretty. This is the shade Endeavor. Wow. I mean, it's super, super deep, but just the tone of it is stunning. Like, such a gorgeous jewel tone. So this next shade is Enlighten Mint. Definitely my kind of color. All right, next we have the shade Savvy. And this is so pretty. It's just, it's like a mid-tone green, but it looks to have almost a little bit of, like, say, just tiny pink micro sparkles in it. 
Oh yeah. Such a pretty green. Right, next we have the shade Mojito. So there's what that one looks like. This one is a little bit less powdery, but it's such a kind of soft bluey green type color. Looks very oceany. Alright, next is the shade Curious, which is another really beautiful kind of mixture between a blue and a green. It has such vibrancy to it. Look at how pretty that is. Again, this one's not really powdery. Seems to have really just a stunning metallicness to it. Like, look at that. Kind of reminds me of Roman from my Alma palette. Like, if it was a green instead of a blue. Alright, next we have the shade Camo. This one's more of a dirty olive. That's actually really cool. It's a very unique shade. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a very, very dirty green metallic. But they always look more dirty golden. And this just is truly green, but just muddy. And I love it. It's pretty. This one had a little bit of a casualty, but it's all good. This shade is Shamrock. Just kind of a nice mid-tone green. There's what that one looks like. Huh. Okay, that one felt a little bit more powdery. I'm going to go ahead and do a second swatch. I feel like this this collection is like every pop of green shimmer you could possibly want. All right, next we have the shade Ambivalent. Just a darker, kind of foresty green. And then last but not least, we have... Ooh. Wow, that's pretty. Okay. It's like... A bluey purple. Did this go with this collection? <laughs> this is the shade Indulge. So there's what it looks like. It has like an intense duochrome to it. Oh wow. Super pretty. Goes from blue to purple. Alright, so there is the entire collection all swatched out. I mean, I think it looks really, really beautiful. I feel like the shades overall, they do look stunning. Some of them are more sparkly and some of them um, are more metallic. Most of them feel just a little bit powdery, so I could definitely see myself spraying my brush with these just to get that really intense look that I prefer, but I do think there's a really beautiful shade range going on here. Here's what they all look like in the palette. Super cute. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a look. I already primed my eyes with the Anastasia Eye Primer, and I think for mattes, I'm going to go ahead and pull in my Creepy Cute Palette from Shroud Cosmetics, previously Strobe Cosmetics, and I think I'm going to start off with this shade, Take a Hint. I'm just picking that up on a little tapered blending brush, and I'm going to throw that through my crease. This is a new brush, and something on it is like poking my eye. I do want this look to have a little bit of depth, so I think I'm going to take a tiny blending brush and I'm going to go into just a touch of, hmm, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll just do tomes, tombstone, 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 and if that's not enough, I'll go into the black. I'm just going to pop that onto my outer V. Alright, actually I think I am going to go into just a little touch of Void right on my outer V. And then I'm going back in with just a little bit more of Take a Hint and blending over the edge. So there's a little matte moment. Now let's go ahead and jump into the shimmers. There's so many options. I don't even know what to do, but I think I really want to use that shade Savvy, the one with like the pink shift to it. This one here all over my lid because that one's so stunning. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and let me double check and make sure that is Savvy. Yes, it is. We're going to use Savvy. So I went ahead and picked it up with a dense packing brush and I'm actually, like I said, I'm going to spray it. 
and I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Ooh, so pretty. Look at that. All right, honestly, I got almost no fallout whatsoever from that, like just like a tiny sparkle here and there, so that's not bad. I think for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and go into this really deep emerald here which is called Endeavor. I'm taking that same brush, I just went ahead and wiped it off, and I'm gonna just tap it very lightly on the tip top of the brush and blend that onto the outer third of the lower lash line or so. All right, I think I'm gonna go into this shade next, Curious, just cause it's so vibrant and pretty. Taking that same brush and again just getting it on the tip top and I'm going to pop that onto the middle of the lower lash line by just blending it out a little bit. So I left a little spot blank in the front and I think I'm going to go ahead and take this more minty shade right here. What are you? You should remember that. It's Enlightenment. Enlightenment. And I'm going to pop that onto that empty area. Got a little bit of fallout from that one. Probably could have sprayed my brush. I really, really love the eye look right now. I feel like all the shimmers look so pretty. There's nothing super light in here that I would like immediately think of as an inner corner highlight except for that enlightenment but that still has a good amount of depth to it so I think we may as well just for the heck of it try one of the glimmer gels on my inner corner I think this one that one has a little bit of a bluey pinky thing going on let me see Ooh, that one there we go this one has more of like a pinky green shift I feel like that one goes best this is the color exactly exactly gonna go ahead and use what's on the lid and do a little swatch maybe yeah oh yeah that has a really pretty green goldy shift so there's what that looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and take just a tiny little pencil brush and dip into that shade so funny putting it in there because of the texture it's like trying to pick up product is weird okay Gonna use the cap as well just to kind of disperse that evenly. Let's see. Ooh, it's pretty. And it has definitely a really nice intensity to it. I don't know, I'm kind of about it. I feel like it almost looks. I mean, it looks a little crazy. I maybe I should have blended that more and gone in with a little bit less. But it kind of gives the look of a pigment. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Okay. I was going to say it gives the look of a pigment without being as messy while I'm making a mess, which is true. But that's my own, like, fault because I, it's on the brush lower than it should be. Um, but it's not, like, getting fallout everywhere like sometimes a pigment will or you have to do glitter glue and all that. I just think I went in with a little bit too much product. All right, so to finish off the eyes, I'm going to go into the Ardencean liner in the shade Grass in my waterline, and then I'm going to use the Maybe Cosmetics Hidden Talent Mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, for highlighter today, I'm going to go ahead and use the Love Lux Beauty Mermaid Waters highlighter. I was looking for something that had a little bit more of a green tone to it. I'm just going to top that off right at the tip top of my cheekbone. And then blend it into the skin. And then last but not least for lips, I'm going to go into the Milani lipstick in the shade Bahama Beige. No, I'm not. Reverse. I'm just going to use my Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss in the shade Peach Tea. Alright y'all, so this is the finished look trying out the Mean Green eyeshadow collection from Kristen Lee Cosmetics. I feel like I really do love the overall finished look, and I mean, this to me is not a look in itself. Obviously, I'm going to have to pull other matte shadows in, but I do feel like it's just such a beautiful collection of shimmery green shadows. It makes my heart so happy. I really, really love that shade Savvy that I put all over the lid. It just is so sparkly and pretty, and 
I just I really really like it so I'm excited to play with these more I would love to know if you've tried anything from Kristen Lee Cosmetics this is my first time making a little bit of a bigger order because I previously purchased I want to say one eyeshadow and then three highlighter minis and I've enjoyed them so I'm excited to just get to know the brand a little bit more and I feel like this glimmer gel exactly is so so pretty I can't wait to wear this look for the rest of the day and just see how this ends up lasting because if it lasts really well then I may have found like a new holy grail status for inner corner shades because I don't know I feel like inner corner normally for me even though I love it so much it's sometimes the first thing to go just because if your eyes water or you just I don't know that's just an easy area to itch so I really hope that this is long lasting I actually just opened up my YouTube comments and saw a comment from Nadine I want to say who said that these eyeshadows are her absolute favorites right now so that's kind of um, ironic this is the timing so I'm excited to give them a really good go especially that all over the lid so I hope you enjoyed the video I'm sorry for blabbering so much and I'll see you in the next one bye